So the convention for writing cells or cell notation is shown on the right there. And the cell that I'm actually writing it for is on the left. Notice that the diagram on the left and the cell notation on the right, they don't necessarily end up being in the same order. The left hand side has to be the anode in cell notation. And that's the oxidation half cell. And the right hand side has to be the cathode, which is the reduction half cell. And the two vertical lines, well, they're the salt bridge. Now, since the salt bridge is dipping into the two aqueous solutions of electrolyte, they go closest to the salt bridge in this cell notation or convention for writing cells. So how do I know which is the anode, which is the cathode? Well, copyright IB, here's table 24. I found the zinc and I found the copper. You know what? There's three copper half equations. That's the wrong one. We want the one with copper two plus and copper solid, that one there. The one that is the anode, the one that undergoes oxidation, that has the most negative E cell value. Oxidation is loss of electrons and that zinc half cell hates electrons. Now you have to reverse that equation, that's another video. You have to reverse the anode equation from the electrochemical cell series. So we've got oil rig. Oxidation is loss of electrons. And so the zinc half cell wants to lose electrons. It's the most negative. It's throwing off all these electrons. It hates electrons the most. So it has the most negative E cell value. That means it hates electrons the most. And vice versa for the reduction half cell. Let's look at some questions. Which of these are correct? Pulls the video. <laughs> Even I don't pause videos, just carry on. I don't want to think, just explain it to me Thornley. So the left hand side has to be oxidation. And oxidation is loss of electrons. And I think of it, that's the one that hates electrons the most. So it's going to have the most negative E cell. So let's look at these four then. So let's check the first one. Is the magnesium half cell higher than the aluminium half cell? Yes, it is. Higher up on the list, a more negative E cell. And are both aqueous solutions next to the salt bridge? Yeah, that one's good. For the second one, there are coefficients. You don't have coefficients in this cell notation, so that one must be wrong. For the third one, the solids are next to the salt bridge. That's wrong. You need to have the aqueous solutions. And for the fourth one, is manganese higher up on the list there? No, it's at the bottom. So that one's backwards. The cell notation has not been followed. The convention on writing the cell has not been followed. So that one's wrong. So how do you work out the actual voltage of these things? Well, what you have to do is look at the difference between those standard electrode potentials. That E with a little Saturn sign, standard electrode potential. Just look at the difference between the two numbers. So what's the difference between those two? It's 0 0.71 volts. Fantastic. So what about these two half cells? Can you see the problem? Yet there's uh, three aqueous solutions there. So how can we fix that up? So let's look at the template of the other one that we know works. The oxidation and reduction. Okay. So it seems that the magnesium turns to magnesium two plus. That is indeed oxidation. It's lost electrons. And the aluminium 3 plus turns to aluminium, and that is indeed reduction, gain of electrons. So using that as a template, let me write out the one for the iron ions and silver. So I'm showing iron 2 plus to 3 plus, that's oxidation, loss of electrons, and silver plus to silver, that's reduction. And we're done.